Welcome back to Mac Music Review. I'm back in the closet. Before I hop into review, you know the drill. Um, maybe you don't. Um, if this is the first video you're watching by me, you can go down in the description and see what I'm reviewing next. You can see how to do, how to request an album for me to review. Just know what I'm going to be reviewing. It's all down in the description for this video. Today we are looking at the album Farewell Starlight by Francis Farewell Starlight, aka Francis in the Lights. I don't actually know if it's a band. I don't know if it's just one guy. It might only be one guy. It might be like, you know, Owl City isn't a band. It's just Owl City. It's just Adam Young. I don't know if Francis and the Lights... The Lights may be referring to the electronic music, or it's just a poetic thing. I don't know if he actually has a band, but the... The lead singer is Francis Farewell Starlight. The main claim to fame for Francis and the Lights, if you've heard of him at all, it's, it's, you've probably seen his name on a Chance the Rapper song. Because he is a frequent collaborator with Chance the Rapper. They collaborated on Coloring Book. They collaborated on the Hamilton mixtape. They even did a song together, which is by Francis and the Lights, called May I Have This Dance. That song is on this album, but the version that has Chance the Rapper was actually just released as a single and music video. So uh, Chance the Rapper is not actually on this album. This album does have a fairly significant guest artist on it, though. And that is Bon Iver on the song Friends. And that is his other claim to fame is uh, this song Friends. The music video has like almost 10 million views. The one with Chance the Rapper may have this dance has I think 17 million. So that's really all this guy has for him in terms of popular music, in terms of popular songs and, and popularity in general. This album only has 10 tracks, and the last song is under two minutes. It's kind of just like an outro type thing. It's not really a full-length song, so this really isn't a super big album. It's, it's fairly short. It's fairly digestible and easy to listen to. Anyway, Francis and the Lights is known for their really um, electronic, spacey, chill, electronic pop music. And I'm saying pop music because the lyrics are definitely typical of pop music. And I think it is it is grouped into pop music. Even though it is, it'd be like art pop. Because, you know, it's, it's very different. It's very original. It's very interesting. It's all really spacey, atmospheric, electric. A lot of t t electronic music with all the time that's really slow. And there's a lot of heavy use of auto-tune. Another thing that really makes Francis and the Lights stand out. Um, some of the most spacey, chilled out songs on this album are uh, My City's Gone. That's one of the sparsest, most distant sounding where the singing is really distant. Um, it's Alright to Cry is a fairly slow song. It does have some more upbeat parts and elements in the music, but it's another spacey, chill song. And, and then uh, Thank You is also pretty pretty lo-fi it's pretty chill for the most part a few of the songs on this album get a little bit more upbeat a little bit more energetic even if it's only a little bit uh see her out opens with some pretty pretty loud electronic music that is pretty upbeat uh, fairly upbeat not super duper energetic but it's it's more upbeat can't stay party is the most energetic song on this the lyrics are about like this encounter he had with a girl at a party and so and he's obviously excited in the in the lyrics and the music fits with that tone and the music is really upbeat and energetic um shake has some really spastic electronic music and some really weird distorted vocals that happens at one point and the whole tone of the song is more upbeat as well as the song may i have this dance that's another really upbeat sounding one it has a very upbeat jovial tone to it Oh, and the other song on here that's kind of, that has very sparse, slow, um, spacey electronic music is the song Friends with Bon Iver. Forgot to mention that. It's very clear on this album that the lyrics are the least important thing about it. Really, what really elevates this album, the main focus of this album is very clearly the electronic music and the vocals. The vocals do play a big part on this album. Francis... Farewell Starlight's singing, and you know, a lot of times you, 
a lot of times he uses heavy auto-tune and it's very original and distinctive and you're like wow this this stands out because of the vocals and the music stands out and the lyrics are just kind of there and they just they rarely ever feel essential or all that important I would say that Farewell Starlight is a fairly is actually a pretty original and interesting album throughout the overall vibe and aesthetic of the album, the electronic, the chill, spacey electronic pop music, and the vocals, sometimes very heavily auto-tuned, is really interesting and original and something that you don't see that often in pop music. A lot of times in pop music, they will have a lot of electronics, but it's rarely this front and center and this where it's very clearly the main focus is electronic elements. And it's rarely this like spacey and chill. And, and for that, Honestly, that is something this album really has going for it, is how original and interesting the music is on this album. And, you know, sometimes the music is, sounds really retro and almost like a video game, like on the first song. And and that that is something it definitely has going for it. That really makes this album interesting, original, and overall pretty, you know, it makes it stand out. Some real musical uh, highlights on this album would be the first song. The first song just sounds really good. The very heavy, more loud use of electronic music, very just front and center right at the beginning of the song. Sounds really good. This is a real song that really just works very well. Parts of Comeback sound really good. Other parts are okay. The buildup is kind of so-so, but the chorus and the main part of the song actually does sound pretty good. Um, Party, the more, the most upbeat song on this album. The music on this one is really good. It sounds really nice. Um, My City's Gone, probably the best song on this album. Definitely the best song on this thing lyrically. It's about, like, kind of like Gold Rush by Death Cab for Cutie. It's about his city changing. The city he grew up in is, like, I guess getting gentrified and, you know, getting modernized and everything. And the lyrics are fairly interesting, and the music works really well. The music and the singing, just, this is a really sparse-sounding song, and it works really well. It's All Right to Cry has really good use of electronic music. It just, overall, just sounds really good. Don't know what ton I can say about this. I guess there's a little more heart behind the lyrics, and that also helps the song. Um, Thank You is a good closer. It's not the best song in the album, but it is uh, a pretty good song. It's a good closer. Some more interesting lyrics finishing off the song that work fairly well. Now, some of the songs in this album are not great. And, you know, just, eh. The song May I Have This Dance, the version on this album, isn't great. It's it's repetitive and it's a little bit annoying. The vocal effect, the do-do-do-do-do, where he, I can't do it, but where he makes his voice really high it's it's like the only thing on this album vocally that really is like on a sour note that doesn't that really doesn't sound great and then the other songs on this thing that aren't great i want you to shake actually this one also vocally is just kind of it's weird it just sounds weird it's sputtering and it's it's not smooth it's not pleasant to listen to it really just doesn't sound very good running man is kind of awkward it's kind of strange. And once again, the second half of the song, the vocals get kind of weird. And it and the first half, it just the lyrics don't really work and it doesn't sound very good. It's not very harmonious. And then Friends. I'm sure there are people who like this song. It's the second most popular song he's ever made. I think it's just super boring. Like the lyrics, there's absolutely nothing interesting. The music is so boring the lyrics are so boring everything about it is so slow and boring i just don't care about this song this album is not very well written at all the lyrics are just sometimes they're sort of good like i said uh thank you has some good lyrics uh my city's gone it's all right to cry i guess has good lyrics but most of these lyrics are pop lyrics they're about partying they're about you know, being in love, they're about girls, or a girl, and and they're just not all that good. Especially on the song, uh, what's it called? Can't Stay Party, Isn't the lyrics are just kind of weak. I Want You to Shake, nothing really there. May I Have This Dance, I guess has a sort of little bit of charm, but it just sounds kind of, it's, it's kind of meh. It's not great. And then Friends is just boring, and... 
Yeah. All in all, this album... All in all, I do like a lot of the stuff about this album. I really do like the vocals. I do like... Sometimes they're a little bit awkward and weird, but I do think Francis Farewell Starlight is a good singer. Is a really good singer. And I do like his use of auto-tune on a lot of these songs. And it voice, his voice works very well with the chill, spacey electronic music. I really do like the overall vibe and music of this album. The chill, spacey electronic music. It really does work well. It really does sound good in a lot of places. And overall, the album just has a good vibe. And it is flawed. It has a few songs which are not great. And it's not super duper well written. But this album does sound pretty good more often than not. And it is pretty good vocally. And it is original and interesting. I'm going to give this thing a 3.5 star rating out of 5. Thank you for watching. I think this ran a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but that's okay. I appreciate you watching the video. Have a great rest of your day.